All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are excited. Good morning to those that are joining us via um, our Zoom. So we are going to pinch hit a little bit. This is our first time doing a hybrid. Um, so we've got a little bit of in-person and then certainly virtual. So allow us and give us some grace if you can. But I'm so excited to see all of you in person. Um, and those of you who have joined us on our Zoom as well, welcome. We are excited. This is our new member orientation. We do this every quarter. This is the first time that we're bringing everybody back um, in person and um, certainly having a, a live stream or um, option as well, a virtual option. So if you all can hear me, Kelsey's gonna run the slides from um, our other Tempo office in Boulder, Colorado. So um, if you haven't yet had a chance to email with her, um, we'll introduce you to her and then our other team members from Temple as well. Hi, Devona, nice to see you, welcome. Um, so thank you for being here. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, Temple. We'll spend the next hour kind of going through who Temple is, ways you can get engaged, um, and then we're gonna allow opportunities for you to ask questions of us. You'll hear from all of our team members a little bit, but before we do, good morning, before we do introductions, um, I wanna share a little bit about myself and then we'll turn it over to all of you. So I'm Jen Dirks, I'm president and CEO. I just celebrated my seven years with Tempo, um, August 11th, thank you. Yeah, um, so it's been a great ride. Um, I have a, I started out in MassCom with a um, focus on broadcasting and then spent a little bit of time at marketing agencies, but this is truly an organization where my purpose has met my passion. So I have a passion for women, for equity. Hey Sam, how are you? Um, women in the workplace and just this has been a really great evolution of our organization. So we'll talk a little bit about what we've done over the last seven years but also the last 46 years of our organization. So um, we do ask that everybody introduce themselves. So we're gonna turn the camera on you, speak in your um, uh, outside voices if you can, so everybody can hear you for those that are joining us on the phone. And then Kelsey will start to introduce those that are joining us via Zoom. Uh, we just wanna know your name, your, your company, your title, and then a unique fact. So um, interestingly enough, a, a unique fact about me um, as I mentioned, I did spend some time in um, broadcast news and something popped up on one of my, um, remember this date several years ago. So it was, I'm gonna date myself, but it was my senior year in college, 94. And I was interviewing David Letterman. So I got to go on his set and um, did some interviewing with him. And Jane Pauley was one of his um, uh, guests at the time. So she was one of my heroes. So it was great to see. So that's my unique fact. Um, so let's turn it over to why don't um, I, yeah why don't we do those in person so I'm I'm not I'm going to put you on the spot I'm going to turn the camera here so those who are joining us um, virtually bear with us we're going to turn the camera just introduce yourself company and then we make back so here we go hi I'm Melissa Owens I work for Cisco um, she's a networking company not the food company um, and I lead their healthcare practice. Awesome. Uh, and um, interesting fact, I was raised, my mother was a professional clown. Oh my um, gosh. So I got pulled on stage a lot. Um, I know all of the tricks for magicians. <laughs> oh my gosh, cool. Can you guys hear uh, virtually? It's a little difficult. Yeah, if we maybe move it closer, then that would be better. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, Melissa. I'm gonna, you know what, let's go here. We'll start here. How's that? Hi, I'm Lucy Miller. I'm the CEO and president of the Kurt Vonnegut. Nice. Very cool. Had dinner with Kurt Vonnegut. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Oh, nice. Lashonda, nice to see you in person. It's wonderful. Yeah, so yell. Use your outside voices if possible. Sam, we know you got it. Samantha <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome. Thanks, Sam. Clorinderia. There we go. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Well, wonderful. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I'm going to skip Diavion. We'll do a little bit of introductions later. Hi, everyone. My name is Michelle Chase. I am the director of you again, Michelle. Oh my gosh. You're now a goat farmer. <laughs> Who knew? Well, welcome. Welcome. So I'm going to um, wait for Devona and the Temple team. Kelsey, I'm going to turn it to you to introduce us to those who are joined us virtually. Yeah, thank you. Um, we will send a list out afterwards of everyone that was in person and everyone virtually so that we can get all the names um, and titles and organizations so you guys can have that. Um, thanks for bearing with us with the sound, but I will start off. Um, I'll just go on my screen here and I'll start off with Beth Detman if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Beth Detman with M3 Insurance. I'm the CFO, I sit on the Executive Operating Committee. And my unique fact is ever since coaching my children in grades or middle school for volleyball, I've been helping coach volleyball. And my kids are in college now, but I've been helping coach middle school kids in volleyball. Awesome. How fun to keep that going. Um, Rebecca, I'll turn it over to you. Ooh, we have you on mute. It's I've only been doing this for a year and a half. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my name is Rebecca Medich. I'm a partner at Hush Blackwell in um, our real estate development and construction group. Uh, and my fun fact is that I lived in Poland for two years, and I once spent a night in a Polish jail. <laughs> I bet that's a not a longer story yet. Yeah, we'll yeah, have a couple drinks. <laughs> oh, awesome! That's so that's so funny. Thanks, Rebecca, um, Maria. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Maria Bartolotta. I am with the Bartolotta Restaurant Group and I've been with the company. We've been open for 28 years. We've been in business and I have been with the company for 26 years, um, probably in most capacities. Currently I am uh, leading up our catering and events departments. So I do events all over the city and um, within our company as well. Um, it's a tremendous passion of mine. I love doing events and I love making people happy and contributing to memories that will stay with them hopefully for the rest of their lives. Um, a fun fact about me is in a previous life I was a singer. So I lived in New York City and I traveled all over the country and I did events again but I was a singer and I did um, just a couple of fun things. I did Maria Shriver, or Maria and um, Arnold, um, what's his name? Schwarzenegger's wedding. Um, I did their wedding. I was at the Kennedy compound and we sang. And as we went into the houses, we, cause there's a bunch of them all together. We saw different pictures and history right in front of us, which was amazing. And then I also sang for, um, George Bush's inauguration. So it was all fun stuff, just 
you know, just fun. And that's it. It seems like another world, another lifetime ago, and it is. But I love being in Milwaukee. I love being in Milwaukee. Awesome. Thank you, Maria. What a fun and interesting fact. I know I can't top <laughs> that, but um, we're also really excited to be going, returning to our in-person program meetings at the ICC with um, a partnership, an awesome partnership with Bartolotta's. Um, so that's just a little plug for our September program meeting coming up in person in a couple of weeks. So thank you, Maria. Um, and last but certainly not least, we have Charlotte on the line. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Charlotte Cannon Sane, and I am the executive executive director for COA Youth and Family Centers. Uh, our focus is on early childhood education, youth development, and community community development through collaborations and partnerships. Uh, for the past, I've just been in this position for about eight months now, and prior to that, I served as the interim president and CEO of uh, the Center for Veterans Issues, or what we call CVI, an organization that helps homeless veterans. Um, and I did that for about two years after the sudden passing of my friend, uh, General Bob Colcroft. Um, the fun fact that I have, people who know me, they know I'm a big family person. And my husband, Mark, and I raised four daughters. And we were always like, oh, there are no boys, there are no boys, there are no boys. So as of now, we have nine grandchildren, eight of which are boys. <laughs> uh, and as a matter of fact, my oldest just turned 19 yesterday. My oldest grandson just turned 19 yesterday. So big family person, love family. And that's, that's the reason why I'm here at COA. We love family. That is awesome, Charlotte. I am one of four girls in my family. So we'll see if the nieces and nephews outnumber us with the boys. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and we actually also have Lindsay on the phone or on Zoom. I didn't see her because she has her camera off. But Lindsay, if you're there and want to do a quick introduction as well. I think she was walking around before. Oh, perfect. There Hi, we go. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Lindsay Crete. Um, I am the CHRO at a company called um, Gateway Studios and Production Services. This is a very recent move for me, so I'll go straight into my fun fact, and that is that I am currently in St. Louis because this new organization I joined is based in St. Louis, so Milwaukee is absolutely my love, and it will remain my home, but I have turned into a person who will be ping-ponging back and forth between Milwaukee and St. Louis on a regular basis. So um, I most recently was in senior living, um, specifically assisted living and nursing homes. And if you were to ask what the polar opposite of a nursing home is, I would say it's rock and roll, which is where I went. So I just went from uh, being the COO of a nursing home to being the CHRO of a brand new startup in the rock and roll industry based in St. Louis. So life is a little hectic for me in startup world in a, in a very wild industry. So um, I'm gonna do the best I can to participate in Tempo because it's an awesome organization, but life will be interesting between two cities. Awesome, thank you so much, Lindsay, for being here. And we um, just are really thankful for technology to allow you to be here from St. Louis. Yes. Um, Jen, did you wanna do team introductions? Maybe? Yeah, Kelsey, why don't you, since you are on, why don't you start and then we'll bring up the team to introduce themselves. Yeah, perfect. Um, so I am Kelsey Arrigan. It's nice to see everyone's faces. I know we've emailed and I've seen your headshots and read your bios, but it's the best to see you guys in person and put those um, real faces to the names. I am the Director of Member Engagement and Experience here at Tempo. I've been with Tempo for three years now. Um, I was lucky to start off at Tempo as an intern my senior year at Marquette and then um, join full-time right after graduation. So that's been a lot of fun to see the evolution of the organization and just the continued growth and um, just the fun changes that have happened over the years. Um, 
My unique fact, as Jen alluded to, this is an easy one now. And Lindsay, um, again, thankful for technology. I am coming to you live from Boulder, Colorado, Tempo HQ in Boulder. Um, I moved here four months ago, actually, on the day. And um, have been lucky to be able to continue with Tempo in a remote um, role and have technology to our advantage to help us stay connected um, and allow me to still participate in these events, especially as Tempo gets back to in-person. So that is my fun fact. Um, I'm going to try to master skiing this winter um, because I think that's what you do here. So that is mine. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Kelsey. Uh, why don't we bring up the team? Mart for TV, Giavian. Hi, everybody. Um, I don't know where to look. <laughs> My name is Mart Harms Granzi. I am the Director of Emerging Women Leaders and Communications here at Tempo. I just celebrated six years at Tempo, like to the day of Jen, but a year later. Um, so echo what Kelsey said about seeing the evolution of our organization, the new brand, new office space, which is right next door. If you want to peep in there later. Um, and my fun fact, we can't think of any right now. So I have a twin sister. She lives in DC. I'll crouch a little bit. Um, so my name is Kelsey I am Tempo's Marketing and Communications Specialist. Um, I joined, I think, six months ago. I think we finally stopped saying I'm new. Um, a fun fact about me is that I'm deathly afraid of birds. Welcome to Tempo. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you all. My name is Yavian Lyons. I am the Office Operational Administrator here at Tempo. And I started as an intern back in February. We came on full time in June. I'm so excited. This has been a great organization. And I look forward to meeting you all, connecting more, and just growing together. Um, a fun fact about myself is I am the first on both the mom and dad side to graduate with a four year degree in communication. From Mount Mary, yes, your alma mater, Mount Mary. Thank you. I have an incredible team. I'm surrounded. I'm super blessed, um, but I'm also surrounded by an incredible board of 21 Temple members. So our board chair is Devona Wright Cottrell. I'm going to ask Devona to come up here and share a little bit, um, but also want to encourage you. Um, I have not yet worked in person with my full team, and so this will be really exciting. We're hoping, we just learned today that we have, the building inspector of Milwaukee has been out and has approved us, so we are ready to move into our space in, in hopefully a month or so. So as Marit mentioned, I encourage you just to peek in. We are literally right here. Um, so we'll be hosting a lot of our um, orientations, committee meetings here in this space and or our space. Um, and also um, potentially some of our professional development sessions as well. So, um, and good morning. I'm gonna turn it, no, you're totally fine. Um, we'll, we'll bring you back and then we'll have you introduce yourself in just a second. But um, Devono, why don't you come up and share a few words? Good morning. Rocking the t-shirt. That's right, Tempo, <laughs> yes. Good morning, everyone. So great to meet all of you. Looking forward to um, getting to know you more and learning more from you as well. Um, oh, yeah. I'm a little taller than Jen. So yes, as Jen stated, I'm the board chair of Temple. I've been involved with Temple for at least six years. Um, I am the Chief Legal Officer and General Counsel for GMR Marketing, which is an experiential marketing company. Um, and prior to that, I spent 13 years at Bayer, which is our supporting sponsor. So completely changed industry, um, left finance, and now working um, on a lots of fun things. So entertainment and, and sports marketing and that sort of thing. Um, my fun fact, I've done this several times, so I can think of one that maybe I haven't used before. I will say is that I am a extroverted introvert. 
um, that I did not even know what that meant until several years ago, I read Susan Cain's book, Quiet, because I lead with extroversion, but I recharge with introversion and my comfortable space is introversion. But when you're a young lawyer and you're practicing law and networking is necessary, you have to learn how to be extroverted. And because I've practiced that so much, that's typically how I show up. So that, that is my subtext. Um, one thing I want to say and encourage each and every one of you as it relates to Tempo is get involved right away. I mean, that's how I got the most out of the organization. It is such that there are so many different things that you can do. You'll hear more about the different committees later. Um, our three pillars, networking, leadership, and mentoring. You may not fall in all three. There might be one that's a sweet spot for you. So like for me, it was mentoring. Um, which is just a part of my DNA, always um, pouring back into others. That's something that I get great um, satisfaction from. Um, and so that is what initially, I would say, drew me to Temple was the mentoring and the um, networking piece of it. But I think I definitely got more out of the organization when I put more into it. And it's so unique in the sense, like I was saying earlier, that there are so many ways for you to get involved, committee work, programming. Um, Tempo is used to pivoting as an organization. So, you know, during the pandemic, I think we did more programming than we've ever done before. Basically meeting women as they're there um, and making sure that we can still meet the needs that, uh, of our membership and those women that we wanted to attract to our membership as well as EWS. So looking forward to getting to know you all, but that is more about me. I'll turn it over to Jim. Thank you, Savannah. We are um, incredibly blessed with, um, and I am incredibly blessed. I often say I am the most blessed CEO in Milwaukee to be surrounded by 800 phenomenal women like Savona and like yourself. So we are truly excited and welcome to Tempo. So we're going to start the presentation now after the introductions um, and kind of go through this. We want this to be uh, interactive. We want to um, allow you to ask questions. It will be questions at the top at the end. Um, Devona, if you want to jump in here at any point um, and talk a little bit about what Tempo was meant to you, we um, welcome that opportunity. So a little bit about our history. As I mentioned earlier, we are 46 years old. We have been around since 1975. Our organization started with four women that found themselves in a boardroom, um, frankly, with uh, people that did not look like them, um, particularly white males, and um, said they had reached kind of that executive role within their organization, but very few and far between women um, in that executive leadership. So they formed Tempo as an idea to really foster um, networking, to talk about best practices, to learn from one another about the challenges and the successes that they were facing um, in the workplace. So that was 1975. Um, if we go to the next slide, our brand has greatly evolved over the last 46 years. If you think about the landscape for women in 1975, it's vastly different than it is today. There are many more um, executive women that have you know, elevated to that role. There is still work to do, but we are really proud of who we are today so we wanted to share this little bit video, Mark. We'll talk more about our um, brand evolution and some of the things that we're doing. But this is a little statement of who we are today. Take it away. A single voice hitting the right note can shatter glass. Many voices build on their terror and strength. They resonate. They can be a vibration, vibration that can shape foundations. Change. Expectations. Many, Many voices ring through and ring true. Tempo is a group of women who have spoken up, risen above, and defied conventions to succeed. And we are committed to helping others do the same. We are each bold, smart, strong, and uniquely powerful. Together, we are unstoppable. Together, our voices rise, and the world rises with us.
a little bit of a technical challenge, but you guys get it. Um, so this video is on our website. Feel free to look um, at it. Oops. And um, yeah, that's a little bit about who we are. We've done um, considerable work in really identifying and making sure that our organization is representative of the community in which we serve. So you'll see a lot about that. Our vision and our mission remain true to what it was 46 years ago when it was established. Our mission is to further the impact of women leaders in our community. And our vision is a society where executive women share an equal place in leadership policy and decision-making. We're not quite there yet. We have made significant strides and milestones to get us to almost equality, but we've got some work to do where it um, means equity truly for women in the workplace, pay equity, some other issues. So we are always at um, the forefront of that um, information and issues that we are that we have facing women in the workplace. Devona spoke to this a little earlier. Our three core values are leadership, mentoring, and networking. I would say a majority of those that join our organization is for these three components. Leadership, clearly, you are all here today because you have leadership, um, uh, a leadership profile within your own organization and within the community. Um, so we also look to foster the leaders in all of us with professional development and programming. Networking, you get to network with 800 boss ladies. Um, so it's really incredible to have you all here in person, but I encourage those that are joining us virtually to reach out to one another. Um, Devona also often says, and so many of people on our board, that when you get an email or a call from a Temple member, it gets returned like that because we are all this incredible networking community. Um, so that is really one of the powers and the strengths of our organization. And then I would say mentoring is another really important core value. It's probably how we are best known externally. So we, Mart, will talk a little bit about our mentoring event, which is our longest standing signature event, but it really gave us um, that visibility among the business community for our focus on mentoring. So we'll talk a little bit about what that does, but then internally, we have a lot of mentoring initiatives. We'll have a one-to-one -one mentoring with a Temple mentor and an Emerging Women Leader mentee, as well as mentor circles and EWL Connects, which are groups of pretty much your personal board of directors. Again, it is not um, something that you were required or mandated, but it's heavily encouraged because you get a lot of value from having this, um, this community of your peers in a very confidential setting. So that's your mentor circles. Temple profile. So this is the profile of our members. You all should know this. Um, you're here. This is why you're here. Uh, we really look to have carved out that niche for women executives because we feel that it's important that when women reach that role in their um, career, that they want to be among their peers and learn to best practice, learn to um, be able to, you know, share kind of things that are going on from their perspective at the executive level. So 10 plus professional years. Um, this second bullet, this additional experience of five plus years at senior executive level, that's really what differentiates us from different organizations and even our emerging women leaders is that five plus years of additional experience. Obviously leadership, we also look for our members to be in, involved in the community. So beyond your day job, what are you doing to impact the community? Are you serving on boards? Are you volunteering your time? Community involvement is a huge component of our member profile. And then endorsement, certainly from a Temple nomination, or we have proactively sought you and invited you into our organization. So we welcome you all here today. A little bit about our membership. Currently, we have 462 Temple members. So we continue to add to that every day, uh, 93 new members in just last year. And if you think about that was a truly virtual year. So um, our year begins May 1st and ends April 30th. So right around the time COVID was hitting uh, and we still maintained 93 new members. So to me, that speaks volumes to the value that we are providing, the benefits that our um, members see. And you'll hear a little bit about our retention rates. We, uh, incurred, or we have a 90% retention rate 
it's year upon year, our members are coming back. And so I think, again, that says a lot about who we are and the organization and what we're providing to our members. We are diverse in terms of the industries that we serve. So 338 companies represented. Um, we have tapped into industries that are typically male dominated, but now women are rising to the executive level. So we're seeing more women in the manufacturing, the technology space. Um, so we're always looking to diversify our industry and our members um, with our um, membership profiles. Growth. We've seen significant growth. Uh, again, I think this really speaks to the volume uh, or to the, the value of our organization. 280 in 2015, we are now at 462. Again, this has been really organic. Uh, certainly a lot of the work of our membership committee, but also in our brand. And as we evolve and we become more actively engaged and our visibility has risen over the last several of years, women want to be a part of this. I think this is now a great time, um, specifically with what is going on in the rise of women from government roles to executive roles to CEOs, even within our business community. This is a really important time to be a part of this organization. And I'm super honored to um, be part, part of it, running it. So um, this is really responsible for our membership growth over the years. Five to Full-time employees, I finally get to say that. I have built an organization chart, which I haven't done in a long time. So it's um, been really wonderful to add Partivi and Diavion as our newest team members, and then our leadership team of Mart and Kelsey. We are, again, blessed by a wonderful board of directors led by Devona wright Cottrell. Mary Bergun is our incoming chair-elect, and our past chair, some of you know her, Lori Richards. I know Lashonda, you know her quite well from Miller Communications. Um, and all of our board are listed on our website. You can find out more about them. I'm certainly always willing to have coffee with you to introduce you to the organization, share a little bit more about their experience. There is not a lack, you'll hear this so much today, there's not a lack of engagement opportunities. So in front of you, and we will share with those of you that are on the phone, that there is a list of engagement opportunities, everything from our mentor circles to joining our Women's Affinity Alliance to serving on any of these committees. It is not required. It is not mandatory, but it is highly encouraged as Devona talked about. This is a way to really get to know your members we do have a lot of our new members just maybe getting familiar with the organization for the first six months or the year before they tap into the committees um, and just kind of getting a feel for what might be important to them. Um, but if there's anything that we you could uh, join, we would say probably our signature event committees. It's a six month gig typically. So Mart will talk a little bit about our signature events. We do meet in person and then it's once a month but you do get the chance to meet with other people and then you're kind of done, but that gives you um, a really great introduction into um, who we are and our committees. Our structure, we are led by a chair and a vice chair. So there's a lot of rotation. There's a lot of leadership opportunities. Again, not required, but um, highly encouraged. If you're interested in joining any of these committees or learning more, Kelsey will um, share with you, and she also shared with you in your new member packet, the engagement opportunities. So if you're interested in signing up for a committee, please let Kelsey know and we can get you assigned. Our finances. So we are a membership organization. So a little bit of IRS and finance for those people in the room. We are 501c6. So your dues, uh, your $550 dues, Go to pay for all of your program meetings, all of your professional development, um, your uh, discovery events, the real talks, the tempo talks webinars, which we'll share about, and then the holiday party. The only additional are the signature events. Uh, so we've got the leadership event coming up in November and then our mentor awards in February of next year and then the golf outing, but everything is all inclusive. So we, again, think it's a really incredible value for our members. Uh, we also, revenue comes through our Emerging Women Leaders, which Mart will talk about, our Women's Affinity Alliance. We have so many partners. You see our partners here um, with Johnson Financial Group and Baird. 
We also have a lot of our corporate partners focusing on initiatives that are important to us. So either emerging women leaders, our focus on our DEI efforts or diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts, a lot of collaborations, our programming. So those are all supported. So we are very, very fortunate to have wonderful corporate partners. Um, we also have a charitable arm of our organization. It's our 501c3, which is our Temple Foundation. Mart will talk a little bit about that. It's been around for um, several decades now, but what we do with that is really to provide impact to the community. And we'll talk about how we do that with the Tempo Foundation. The future of Tempo. So I'm going to go through this. This is our strategic plan. We launched this in May. No, we launched it in April at uh, last year, uh, 2020, right as COVID was setting in. And um, we um, have really done a lot of work in terms of making sure that we are staying, we're being held accountable and reaching our goals. So by 2023, the idea is to be an inclusive network of female executives. Um, we want to have an organization whose strength and position impacts the community. So certainly that's with our foundation and our um, emerging women leaders. We want to be that thought leader of equity and matters of importance for women in the workplace. So we'll talk a little bit about that and what our mission has been to um, provide that voice to not only our members, but um, within the community. We also want to be at that collaborative partner and that business partner and resource for not only the media, but other organizations that support the work that we're doing that align with the work that we're doing. And then um, for those financial um, folks in the room, as well as our board members, uh, we want to be a financially strong organization. And I'm really pleased to say that that is um, very true. Um, and we are really on a wonderful um, track record and trajectory for remaining a financially strong organization. So here is how we are going to do that and reach these goals. These are our four pillars, network and value. So again, I talked a lot about the network and the network of 800 women. So we want to harness that and make sure that we're fostering that environment and that collective power of our temple women and really recognizing the unique uh, qualities that each of our members bring. So that's our network and value. Our legacy and brand, you saw a lot about the evolution of our brand over the last 46 years, but what does the future 46 years look like? So you saw that represented through our new brand refresh, but this in that um, pillar is also our focus on our emerging women leaders. So Margaret will talk a little bit about who they are, but that's to us, it's considered the next generation of Temple leaders. Um, and I'm not gonna pick up Sam, but Sam is one of our emerging women leaders that has transitioned into Temple now. Um, she definitely meets the profile of Temple and we have seen about 20 um, emerging women leaders transition into the Temple um, leadership role. So we welcome you, Sam, and you can share a little bit about your story. But um, so our emerging women leaders are certainly our, um, our future generation. And so that's part of that priority. Our equity and belonging, we are on a journey as an organization, um, but we have made considerable strides. And this is a priority of not only our organization, but our board. We have the tone at the top. This is really a commitment. We have an incredible DEI committee that is working to help us um, you know, have impact and make sure that all of our members feel that they are included, um, that this is an inclusive environment for them. This also goes to um, really peeling back the onion on um, our organization and making sure that it is representative of the community in which we serve. So we have um, Temple Real Talks, we have a lot of DEI work, we have a committee that is our largest committee, um, that they are passionate about this, they are experts on DEI and helping us to really um, uh, continue on our journey with DEI. So this has been a really incredible priority. And then finally, community and impact. This again is where the foundation comes in. What are we doing to impact change? How are we continuing to be the voice and the advocacy, um, be that advocate for women equity? This is also where our foundation comes in. And Mart will talk a little bit about how we are giving back to the community in which we serve. Those are our four priorities. And now I get to turn it over to Morris. 
construction happening in our office next door. Yes. Which is good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we want that. Um, great. So now I get to talk a little bit more about now that you've joined, you've paid your dues, what do you get, what kind of benefits are available to you. So one key differentiator of Tempo is our programming. We offer so many different programming options, even more now with COVID, we have added virtual options that aren't going away. So really providing something for everyone, whether it's a professional development type workshop, whether it's a keynote from someone in the business community making headlines, whether it's our leadership event with a national, internationally known person, we really try to provide something for everyone. So here's four of our main categories of programming. There's a lot happening, so it can get confusing. So hopefully this lays it out for you. So I'll go through each one. So our third Thursday program meetings, we have one coming up in just about two weeks at the ICC in person, um, but virtual option also. This is where we'll have a panel, we'll have a keynote, we'll have a fireside chat, um, but our committee really selects people making headlines, business topics, best practices, things like that. So next one is September 16th. Professional development series. This is more of a workshop type feel, interactive. Um, members love to bring their teams with them. It's a $30 fee to bring your team along. So just a turnkey way um, to provide them with a professional development opportunity. Our next one is October 1st in this room. So we'll be trying out a hybrid professional development series workshop. I encourage you to check that out. Tempo Talks is our virtual only webinar series. So we started these April, 2020. Every single Friday we put on a webinar, mostly around a COVID type topic. But the beauty of these is we feature members. So have giving members the opportunity to share their expertise on a topic. We've since evolved to not always talking about a COVID topic, but more of business relevant um, topics featuring our emerging leaders as well. So transition from four times a month to one is much more manageable, especially as we're bringing back the in-person opportunities as well. We have one next Friday, September 10th, um, branding in Milwaukee. And then Temple Real Talks is another virtual opportunity. We may be doing in person, we'll see, but this is really part of our diversity, equity, and inclusion in initiatives. We started it following the murder of George Floyd in May 2020, providing a space for members to come together, have courageous conversations. Um, we read the book White Fragility last year, chapter by chapter. And then we're starting up again next month with the microaggression game led by Jeremy Triplett. So really trying to provide something for everyone um, and getting more experiential interactive. Our Women's Affinity Alliance is another key differentiator for our organization. So what this is, and you may have added it on when you joined Tempo, but it really brings together employee resource group leaders within our membership, sometimes not within our membership, but it is women who are leading the efforts at their companies. They're probably the executive sponsor or maybe the chair of the women's ERG, but bringing them together to talk about best practices. We, pour, we hold quarterly events focused on um, best practices, things happening, highlighting different companies and what they are doing. So this can be temple members, emerging women leaders, but also non-members can join as well, knowing that sometimes men, sometimes men are executive sponsors of the employee resource groups, um, and give, giving another way for community members to get involved. And here is a listing of our current sponsors for the Women's Affinity Alliance. So you can see lots of recognizable companies in Milwaukee who have women's ERGs. It's definitely not all of them who have ERGs, um, but just shows you kind of the scope of who we're bringing together with these events. Emerging Women Leaders, EWL. So this has been mentioned a lot. Um, 
this is one of the programs that I oversee. So it's a whole other membership group. We have 324 members, I believe. So you can see the growth from when we started in 2016. Um, I joined Tempo in August 2015, and we were just starting to take applications for the first group of emerging leaders. We didn't really know what this, sorry, um, we didn't really know what this group would be. And um, it's kind of evolved and changed every single year, but you can see that it's definitely something that was needed. So uh, next slide, we'll talk a little bit more about who this group is. So established in 2015, as I mentioned, 328 emerging women leaders, amazing explosive growth. Um, and you can see the top job titles here. So these are women, not entry level by any means, not right out of college, but it's women who have at least six years of experience, um, sometimes even more, um, but women who are identified in their company as the rising stars, the what's next, the top talent. And we put on programming specifically for this demographic. We have mentoring opportunities, um, but then opportunities with Temple as well for the groups to mix. So together, EWL plus Tempo, we are at nearly 800 women strong in our community. You can also see oops, 20 transitions from EWL to Tempo that Jen mentioned. And here's the EWL criteria. So at least six years in the workforce, internships don't apply. Um, identified as that rising star. We also look for community involvement for EWL nominees, and then really that leader within her organization saying, yes, she is the rising star, the top talent. She should be part of this group. So we have a nomination period for EWL actually coming up in about a month. For EWL, we take nominations twice a year, a little bit different than Tempo where we take them four times a year. foundation, which Jen mentioned, our 501c3. Um, and really what we do with our foundation is two things. We provide educational scholarships to college students in conjunction with the mentor awards. So the mentor award winners basically get to select a college um, and give a $5,000 scholarship. So since 1990, I believe, we've given away over $300,000 to college students. And then in 2018, we started a grant called our Professional Development Grant, where Temple members can apply, Emerging Women Leaders can apply, non-members can apply for a certificate program, um, a conference, a seminar, not a master's degree or PhD, but um, they apply for this and then we, give, we grant the money for professional development. So the timing of this is, I believe the application opens, February, and then they're announced in April. So you'll have some time to watch out for that. The Women's Leadership Collaborative is another key differentiator. So this is a partnership with two other women's organizations that you may have heard of. You may be our members, Professional Dimensions and Milwaukee Women Inc. So we came together in April of 2019 to form the Women's Leadership Collaborative. Really, the purpose is to have one voice on issues, um, on issues where it makes sense to have a stronger voice. So pay equity, um, why should we all be tackling this separately when we can come together and be more than 1,000 women strong? Um, so that's really the focus of the Women's Leadership Collaborative right now. Membership benefits, is this you, Kelsey? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, I can take it from here. Okay, perfect. Or is this you? I forget. You go for it. You go for it. Thanks, so Mark. You're having trouble hearing me. Um, let me just adjust really quickly. Perfect. Alrighty. So membership benefits, some ways to get involved. 
Um, some of these, some of this is a little recap, Mara kind of gave an overview, but we'll dive a little bit deeper into them. So our program meetings, as she mentioned, are our third Thursday standing meetings. These are really um, kind of at the core of Tempo. This is probably our um, longest standing offering of our members uh, or for our members. So these cover the core values of leadership and networking, and um, they are typically, um, they have a networking portion, a lunch portion, and then the program. So as Marit mentioned, sometimes it's a fireside chat, sometimes it's a panel discussion, or sometimes it's a keynote, um, but our programming committee really tries to tackle some timely and relevant topics, bringing in community leaders, bringing in different temple members to lead the discussions, um, and just share with our membership on various topics each month. So these are, again, third Thursdays from 11.30 to 1.15. We're really excited to be returning to in-person this month, again, at the ICC. And our topic is the future of the talent pipeline, higher education trends, and implications. So registration is currently open for this on our website. And it, we have an all-star panel um, from different higher education institutions, um, Mount Mary, MATC, UWM, um, and then also a representative from Advocate Aurora who's going to speak to um, the employer side of the talent pipeline and um, bringing up students. So we're thankful to Reinhardt for being our program sponsor this year and allowing us to bring these programs to you. Um, again, in person, but also with a virtual option. So if you're not yet able to be gathering in person or comfortable with it, or if the timing just doesn't work to commit your entire afternoon, feel free to join us and register for the virtual option. This is free of charge for all members. Tempo Talks, as Marit mentioned, is our fully virtual option. And this was born at the start of the pandemic. Um, again, just to bring COVID resources and information to our members, but it quickly evolved into standing programming offering um, on various topics. And again, the um, key different, differentiator here is that um, these feature our Tempo members. So we really um, recognize that there are 400 plus Tempo members who are experts in their fields and experts in their companies who have so much insight um, and so much knowledge to be shared with the um, greater Tempo and EWL community and our guests. So we really wanted to give them a platform. Um, so these are typically panel discussions where we bring together three or four Tempo members to share on their topics. Um, the upcoming session is next week, Friday, noon to one, again, fully virtual, and this is on Branding Milwaukee. So we have um, a representative from Visit Milwaukee, a member from Laughlin Constable, and then um, Elizabeth Reese, who started her um, Chasing Paper organization and brought it to Milwaukee. Um, to share a little bit about that decision there. Um, all, these are, all these sessions are recorded and we post them on our YouTube channel afterwards. So if you ever wanna go back and check out any previous sessions or if you're unable to attend, we do offer that as well. We're super thankful to BMO for being our um, Tempo Talks sponsor. They've been a great supporter. Um, Tempo Real Talks, again, um, Marit mentioned this, this started off as more of a book club format going through chapter by chapter of White Fragility, um, really spearheaded by our DEI committee and having those um, real and impactful conversations that needed to be had and need to be had on a continued basis. Um, we're excited to be relaunching this in a new format this October. So um, Jeremy Triblett presenting on the microaggression game registration just opened for this. So this is the evening of Tuesday, October 19th. I believe this is virtual as of now, um, but this will continue to be an ongoing series with Tempo um, as we um, just continue to foster these conversations and encourage our members and emerging leaders to dive into these conversations. Um, wherever they're at in their journeys with DEI, we welcome everybody, all different walks um, and understanding that everyone's at a different part in their journey. So really catering to all of those different areas. And we are thankful to our many DEI sponsors um, that are listed on the screen there. 
Uh, our professional development series. Again, this is our workshop like um, offering. So these are Friday mornings returning in October on October 1st in person. Um, and this, as Marit mentioned, really is um, created for our members to bring their teams to and have some hands on working activities and learnings that they can then take immediately back to their office and start. Um, so we see a lot of guests attend these sessions. It's open to guests, it's open to Tempo members and emerging women leaders. Um, but again, you get the opportunity to interact with your table, interact with the rest of the attendees in the room and the speaker, um, and dive into some of the um, key learnings that are being presented. Um, again, it's our early morning sessions on Friday mornings. October 1st is the next one, a servant leader's five virtues that got him from boxing ring to boardroom. Hector Colon is our speaker for that session and registrations open on our website. RSM is our uh, professional development series sponsor. So thank you to RSM. And then Tempo Discovery, we're excited to be bringing these back as we return to in-person. This is more of our social outing. Um, this is spearheaded by our engagement committee. And the real purpose here is just networking and getting together, but also to um, explore some new and exciting uh, businesses or places in our community that we can get a behind the scenes tour of, that we can hear from leadership on um, and really have an exclusive experience. These are typically smaller groups, maybe 10 to 20 members. Um, again, usually with like a happy hour format. So this is a fun social outing. We are um, planning out our 2021-2022 calendar for these, but these are typically held quarterly in the afternoon. Um, so stay tuned for more information about some upcoming discovery events. Another one of our membership benefits, and this was listed on your engagement opportunities sheet, but these are our mentor circles. And we continue to hear more and more about our mentor circles really being some of our members' absolute favorite things about Tempo. Um, these have been around for quite some time now, but it just continues to grow. We have an ongoing list of members waiting to be placed. Um, currently, we have 127 members participating in these, divided up between 17 circles. So these are small groups of Tempo members that meet, um, really setting their own meeting schedule. Tempo, as a staff, doesn't really, actually has no idea um, what's discussed at those meetings or what is um, you know, the schedule for those meetings, it's really decided amongst the participants. So you really set the stage for that, but these are confidential circles of trusted um, fellow members that you can really bring your authentic self to. Many of these are unstructured. So you come showing up to the meeting and you um, can bring what's been on your mind in the last week or the last month or what your professional challenge has been, what your personal challenge has been, and really just having kind of that um, board, personal board of directors to present these two and really work through things. So you see some of the testimonials on the screen there. Um, we just continue to hear such great things um, from our members who are involved in these circles. So if you are interested in joining one of these circles, the placement process can vary depending on what our openings are in the existing circles or where we're at in starting a new circle but definitely feel free to reach out and you will be placed um, as timely as possible. That committee works really hard to get you placed in the best possible circle um, that fits all of your needs. So feel free to either email info at tempomilwaukee.org or you can email myself directly if you're interested in getting involved. Um, another mentoring opportunity is the EWL one-to-one -one mentoring program. This program is between Tempo members and Emerging Women Leaders, Tempo members being the, in the mentor um, role and the EWL members being in the mentee role. Um, but what we hear a lot is that it's more of um, mentoring each other. So serving as mentors to each other rather than a mentee-mentor relationship. Um, but these are formal matches that are made by um, the Tempo team based on a survey that you fill out, um, sharing what you can provide as a mentor, and then the EWL member sharing what they are hoping to get from their mentor. 
Um, these are made biannually in the spring and the fall. So we just made our fall matches a few weeks ago. So this will open up again in the spring if you're interested in serving as a mentor. We'll put a call out in our Monday message and you'll complete that survey and you will be paired for one year of formal mentoring. Um, and then you can continue the relationship on if you see fit beyond that. Um, but we just ask for a one year commitment to serve as a mentor. Um, we continue again to have this initiative grow um, exponentially. I know a majority of EWL members are um, in mentee relationships um, and there just continues to be extreme interest. And I think what we hear a lot is like, how did you make these perfect matches and how did you know just the right person to pair me with? So it's always fun to hear that feedback. Um, we're excited to have a new sponsor for this program. Um, so just continuing to grow it and build it out as interest increases. So 300 plus matches have been made since 2017. I think that just speaks to the power of this offering. Coffee Connections is another um, engagement opportunity. This was born during the pandemic as well, really to solve the problem of how do we connect um, in this virtual world and how do we kind of recreate those natural connections that happen before an event during the network portion and those one-on-one -on -one conversations that you just can't get on a virtual webinar or a virtual happy hour. Um, so our coffee connections are one-to-one -one matches. They're completely random. You, it's an optional sign, it, sign up. You can sign up if you're interested for one month or we have people that have done it for every month since we launched, um, but you're randomly assigned to another Tempo member and it is up to the two of you to um, schedule a walk together, a happy hour, a virtual meeting, whatever you're comfortable with, completely up to you. You can meet one time, you can meet five times, Again, completely up to you, but really just an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one connection. Maybe you already know that Tempo member and it's a reconnection, or maybe it's a completely new um, connection you've never made or you didn't know this person was involved in Tempo. So we have had over 500 connections made since we launched a year ago, which is crazy to think we launched in September of 2020. Um, but again, it's so fun to hear what comes out of these conversations. So um, connections that are made between different committees. I learned about the Mentor Circles Committee or I learned about the Tempo Foundation Committee through my um, coffee connection or just personal connections. We've heard about people who have connected on, um, you know, the schools that their kids go to or various different topics. So this is just a fun opportunity, again, to further those connections as we continue um, to somewhat be virtual or hybrid and really meet people where they're at. So these will not go away. These are offered monthly. You can sign up in the Monday message and then we will email you your match um, at the beginning of each month. Then we have some signature events that we offer. Our leadership event is um, quickly approaching. We have secured a date of November 12th. So save that date and get it on your calendar because you will not wanna miss this event. Um, this is um, an event we look forward to every year. Maybe some of you have attended as guests in the past. We have had some incredible keynote speakers, Kendra Scott, Gabrielle Union last year. Um, and each year we wonder how we're gonna raise the bar um, and make it yet again, another incredible event. And we are so excited to be announcing our featured speaker Friday of this week. So if you don't follow us on social media yet, please do so, so you don't miss that but you'll also get an email in your um, inbox this Friday morning with our speaker reveal and registration will be open. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. It's killing me that I can't tell you right now, but it's coming up Friday. Um, we're super excited to be returning to in-person for this event um, where we gather, last time we were in person, over 800 um, attendees to hear our keynote speaker and really just put on a fun experience for you guys cover off on various leadership topics um, and really just, it's such a fun event. So speaker announcement is coming this week, save the date, November 12th. And thank you to Baird for being our presenting sponsor for this year's event. 
Our holiday party is another really fun one. It's up there on that list of my favorite events each year. This is included in your dues. This is um, really an opportunity to connect with uh, members and EWLers. There's not really a formal program at this event. It's really just a celebration of the year um, and the holidays and getting together and really being able to network. So we're excited to be returning to in-person for this event this year as well. Save the date, December 9th. Um, at the Fister Hotel. We typically do a um, raffle to raise funds for our Temple Foundation, but again, it's just a really fun social opportunity to get together and just um, celebrate and get dressed up and cheers the new year and what and all we've done in the last year. And then our Mentor Awards, this is Tempo's longest standing signature event. This year will mark the 31st annual Mentor Awards um, in February. And the purpose of this is to raise awareness of the importance of mentoring. And again, knowing that mentoring is at the core of Tempo and just part of Tempo's DNA. This is something we look forward to every year. We honor three community mentors, two individuals and one organization who has really just set the bar for mentoring and made it a priority um, in the last year. We also provide scholarships in the name of all of our mentors. So undergraduate scholarships to women in Wisconsin colleges or universities. Um, we're excited to bring this one back to you in person. We don't have a set date yet, but February, 2022, um, where we will gather and celebrate our mentors. And then the golf outing and summer social, this will be coming up, something to look forward to next summer, 2022. Um, but this is a fun afternoon of just gathering and golfing. You do not have to be um, by any means a professional golfer or, um, I mean, from what I've heard, even good at golfing. It's really for any skill level, we'll pair you um, with, up with either if you have a foursome you wanna go with or if we'll pair you up with other members and EWLers. Um, but again, this is a social networking opportunity, really fun, no formal program. We have a fun happy hour afterwards um, and it's just a fun way to celebrate the summer. We were excited to be able to be in person this past summer for this um, with over a hundred Tempo members and EWLers and guests um, in person there. So. Keep an eye out and something to look forward to for summer 2022. All right, we are almost done here. I'll go through this one pretty quickly, but this is just kind of some tips on navigating the organization, getting your member profile and making sure all your paperwork is in. So you should have all received an email from me with all of these pieces um, to set up your new member um, profiles. So this includes your dues invoice, which you would have gotten online through filling out the form, your online member data form with your contact information, um, sending over or including your headshot and bio in that. All of this stuff will be featured in our directory, which I'll walk you through on how to access on our website. So it's important that we have your most current information it's nice to have a headshot included so that other members can, um, you know, put some faces to some names and then including your bio, uh, your bio for us to include on our new member social media posts. Um, and then I also included in that packet of engagement opportunities sheet, again, completely optional, but also something that you can look back at at any point within your Tempo membership. If you're not yet ready to join a committee, or participate in one of the offerings, no worries. That's always an opportunity for you. You do not have to join at the start of the year or when you join, you can start at any point. So feel free to keep that on hand for whenever you're ready there. If you have not yet paid the invoice or completed your online data form, um, please do so so that we can get your profile all set up, get you on our mailing list so that you're receiving all of our messages. So now I will just um, switch screens really quickly here and pull up our Tempo website. Okay. So 
So just a quick little tutorial on how to navigate the website if you are wanting to access your profile or um, make any edits to that. You'll click up here in this member login button um, and then type in your username and password. That is something that you establish when you create your online form and fill out your profile materials. And once you log in, you'll see some new tabs appear. So specifically this directory tab, this is only available once you do log in. So the general public can't see this because this includes all of your information. Um, but this is definitely a great resource for you guys as members um, to see all of our other Tempo members and emerging room leaders um, featured here. So you can, um, if you need to contact Pat for anything, you've connected with her at an event and you wanna follow up, here's her information. Um, you can search the directory by name. So if you met someone at an event and you didn't get their full information, you can search it here. You can search by organization if you're looking to connect with someone from a specific organization. So this is a really awesome tool. This is the most up-to-date directory updated in real time. Once you create your profile, you're in there and your information um, is made available. Again, you can search the Emerging Women Leaders, Just Tempo members, or even our Women's Affinity Alliance members. So that's a great resource there. The other thing I'll show you is the My Member Profile. So this is helpful if you have a job change or you need to swap out your email, you can go ahead and do that here to make sure that all your information is staying relevant. So we understand that things change um, throughout the year and you can update any of this at any time by clicking that edit button. You can also just let the office know if you have an email or job change and we can go in and do that for you. The other thing I'll show you is if you're ever wondering about outstanding invoices, if you need to pay for a guest to um, attend with you at a program meeting, you can go to my profile invoices and it'll show, show you all your invoices if there's a balance due. Um, you can go ahead in there and pay those, or you can get receipts for those if you need. And then if you're ever wondering if you registered for an event or um, if you registered your guest for an event, you can go to my profile and submissions and see all your past registrations there. So that will help you confirm if you have in fact registered um, or if you need to do so. So that's a little bit on the website on some back end stuff. We also have some, we have our events featured on our calendar page, but all of this stuff is really included in your Monday message. So for the majority of the time, you don't even need to refer to the website. Everything is sent to you in the Monday message each week um, to be top of mind for you there. And I'll go back here. So speaking of the Monday message, if you have not yet received these and you've completed your form and you've paid your dues, please let me know because um, we want to make sure that these are getting through your inbox every Monday morning. Um, this is your go-to for all things Tempo. It'll have all of our upcoming events with registration links. It'll have important announcements. It'll let you know who our incredible keynote speaker is for our leadership event. It'll let you know when we need mentors. Um, everything you need week by week is included in the Monday message. So please let me know if you're not receiving these yet um, and we'll do some troubleshooting to make sure that you are. Members Advancing Milwaukee is another um, online communication we send out. This is sent quarterly. And this is the opportunity for you to share with other Tempo members and other emerging women leaders um, about the various organizations you're involved with. So if you sit on a board that's looking for other board or committee members, you can put a call out in the Monday message. If you are co-chairing an event for an organization and you want to promote the ticket sales, you can put that in the Monday or in the Members of Dancing Milwaukee. Um, if you have, um, just different community opportunities that you think would be a fit to Tempo and EWL members, feel free to submit those. The submission will be included in the Monday message. We have one coming up in the month of October. So if you start thinking about any events or opportunities you have happening in the fall, um, keep an eye out for that so that you can make sure that that is submitted there. 
Then we have our quarterly newsletters. These are uh, these are digital as well. And this really will provide you with um, a great big recap of everything that's happened that quarter in tempo. So maybe it's been a really busy quarter for you with work and you haven't been involved, as involved in tempo as you would have liked. This is a great resource to get completely up to speed on our past programs, um, what our committees have been up to, any members who have gotten new promote, who have gotten promotions or new jobs, um, different or updates within Tempo as an organization as a whole. This is really your go-to for that. So these are sent out quarterly. The next one will be coming out in the fall. And it's just a great recap of everything that Tempo has done in the last quarter. So it's usually a pretty fun read. Um, and we encourage you to just sit down and spend some time going through that as we send those out. And then we also have a career center and job board that is available to Tempo members and emerging women leaders to access both if you're looking for opportunities or if you have an opportunity to share. Um, so you can submit and post jobs on here. You can also seek jobs on here. Um, there's also an opportunity for board, um, board opportunities to be included on here as well. So this is a great resource. Um, you can upload your resume on that if you are in a transition phase and looking for a new opportunity. And we encourage you again, just to connect with us on social media as new members. We are on all the platforms. We are um, making big announcements on all the platforms. So we really need, want you to connect with us this week, especially for our leadership event, um, but also just a really great way to engage with us. We do some new member shout outs on there. We do event promotions on there and event recaps. Um, and it's just a fun way to further connect with the Temple membership. So please connect with us there. And kind of as a last immediate next steps with being engaged as a new member, we do have an engagement committee who is tasked with um, reaching out to you guys to connect um, in a small group setting. So they will be contacting you in the coming weeks to connect virtually. Um, again, in small group settings, just to meet you, answer any questions you might have, share their tempo journeys, um, because we know that they look different to every tempo member. Um, so again, just to connect you further with the organization, we're excited to be returning to in-person. If you are comfortable gathering in person, that is an awesome way just to dive right into it, meet our membership, make some new connections, um, maybe rekindle some old connections, um, so please feel free to use our engagement committee as a resource um, in serving as your first connection to Tempo. We also include you to just let your networks know that you're involved in Tempo. So include this on your social media platforms or on your LinkedIn and start having those conversations. Um, as we continue to grow our network within the organization, that means that our network of non-members also grows. So help us reach your networks, help us um, reach those who aren't yet connected and spread the word about your membership experience with Tempo. Um, we always encourage you to invite potential members of both Tempo and EWL to join you at program meetings or professional development series. Again, just to get a taste of what Tempo looks like if they are interested in joining or if it's something that you think might be a good fit. We encourage you to join a committee um, and or one of our engagement opportunities. Coffee Connections is a great start. Mentor circles to really form those relationships. Again, within our membership, it is a choose your own adventure. Nothing is required of you. It's really what you're looking to get out of it. So um, hopefully a few things have sparked some interest in you and spoken to exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm a resource, the Tempo team is a resource, the board is a resource, reach out and try to find where you best fit within the organization um, and make it custom to you and fit what you're looking for. So I will now open it up to both virtual and in-person questions. Um, if there are any, that was a ton of information, but we will send you all of our recap notes and everything um, to get you plugged in that way. And I will stop Thanks, sharing. Kelsey. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Kelsey. Oh.
a lot of information was thrown at you. Um, hopefully, thank you for sticking around with us as we digested all of this information um, virtually and or in person. Do you have any quick questions for us or anything that we can answer now? Go ahead, Devon. Yeah. in the middle of a Jen, do you want to do just a brief recap of that since we weren't really able to hear on the virtual side? Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Um, it was just, uh, Devona was mentioning that um, it's kind of that choose your own adventure, but really encouraging those to join committees and take advantage of all the engagement opportunities. There is not a lack of them. So um, serving on a committee, being part of a mentor circle, getting involved, there are um, leadership opportunities, both in the committee level as well as on the board. So we really encourage everybody to join. Any, thanks to both of them. Any other questions, thoughts? A lot of information. Um, thank you so much for being here in person and virtually. Uh, welcome to Tempo. This is your official welcome. Uh, we hope that you will join us for our September 10th um, professional develop or our Tempo Talks session. Sorry, there's so many virtually going on. It's hard to keep track. Um, September 16th is our in-person at the ICC. And then um, certainly watch for our special announcement on Friday. We are so stoked. It's been hard to keep it um, a secret, but really, really excited about that. So welcome everyone. Please feel free to reach out to myself, uh, Kelsey, Marit, Diabian, Partivi, any one of us can answer any questions you might have about Tempo. But again, welcome. Um, and we're also glad that you're here. Thank you. Thanks, Kelsey. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.